All right, welcome back everybody to a brand new build series, start of a renovation. We are pretty in depth in this house, changing all the tile, fireplaces being taken out and extended up to the ceiling with new tile as well. Full basement development, it is a blank canvas right now. New tile in the downstairs bathroom, painted vanity, new tub surrounds, new tile in the mudroom, new tile in the front entry, all new baseboard throughout, new carpet throughout, carpets coming off the stairs and we're capping the sides with MDF. All the ugly light fixtures are coming out, new carpet all throughout upstairs, all new wall paint color. Ensuite bathroom is being completely gutted and reshifted into a new design. Tub's coming out, shower is going to be hopefully in floor depending on what we can do with the floor joists. Vanity, mirror, light fixtures, baseboard, new tile throughout. Wall fan is getting put in the ceiling. All new carpet in the master bedroom. Light fixtures are staying. So luckily homeowners have a rental while we're renovating this one. Got our inner scrubber here, we're gonna get that set up and make sure all of our dust contained. Even though there's no homeowners living here, I don't wanna to have to go through after the fact and clean up all the dust that we make from ripping out all this tile. Coming into the basement, it is uh, pretty dark down here. Yeah, that's better. So new layout throughout, might have to change a little bit of electrical, a little bit of plumbing, bulkheads. On this side of the room, plywood walls throughout with visible fasteners. It's going to be a Scandinavian modern-ish design. Full play climbing structure in the basement for the kids and uh, a couple other rooms going down here. Bathroom, we just gonna drop some flooring protection. All the hardwood is staying, so I wanna make sure that stays protected as much as possible throughout the renovation. If we end up having to replace a piece or two, it's probably not gonna be a huge deal, but we wanna kind of mitigate it as much as we can. Going to have to take the whole hood range off because the tile runs behind it. New light fixture above the kitchen table and we'll make sure all the appliances get protected while we're here as well. Basically today is just um, setting up, protecting things before we start ripping and tearing. Got demo for two or three days-ish and then I will be framing the basement probably for three or four days. After that, all the sub trades will be in doing their rough-ins. So scheduled completion date for this guy is April 3rd. It is currently January 27th. So that gives us about three months to rock this one. It's gonna be a uh, pretty tight schedule, but we'll get it planned out and we'll get everything uh, organized and rolling smoothly. All our sub trades are on standby already. They all know what's going on in the house. They all know what their scope is. We got material ordered so things can go quickly as we need them to. Tile is all ordered. Few more light fixtures that need to be selected, but. Okay, so just to give you guys a rundown, front entry, mud room, backsplash in the kitchen, tile in the bathroom, all carpet throughout. Everything is coming out. Uh, new tile face going on the fireplace and it is also being extended to the ceiling, uh, 24 by 24 inch tile. So there's only actually gonna be four grout joints. Moving into basement development, basically living area with a potential climbing structure, play structure for the kids. Storage room too with two, with two barn doors going on, mechanical room, bedroom number one, storage room number one, storage under the stairs and a full three piece bathroom, electrical layout, sorry, pot light layout, electrical outlet layout, and main. It's gonna be a pretty cool one. This is the elevation for the cabinets that are going in the storage room downstairs. Plywood walls, as I said, with visible fasteners, two barn doors, and plywood panels throughout. Double light hung vertically on both sides of the mirror, and custom tiled shower. 
main floor bath elevation. So basically that's what the uh, main floor bath is gonna look like when we are done with it. Existing vanity is getting painted. Uh, let's get to it. Set up for demo here. I got my air scrubber. I'm gonna run its pipes outside. Basically what an air scrubber is gonna do is any dust that comes up in the house, it's gonna give us a negative pressure and dump everything outside after it's filtered through its own unit. So we will have a lot less cleaning to do after the reno is completed. It is a pretty intrusive reno, but a lot of it is going to be saved and or protected. Countertops, cabinets all get protected. This guy will have to come off of the wall. All new backsplash, which is done before the range hood is put on. So going to take that off, put it in the garage and get it out of here, get it protected. Nobody's working in the garage, so that's going to be kind of our staging space for anything that needs to stay throughout the reno. Got a uh, jump on taking up some tile around the shower. It's good to go. Just uh, kind of waiting for my the rest of my RAM board to show up. And then I can probably get a jump on doing some actual baseboard work. Getting some of this tile stripped out of here. These backsplashes are gonna be a, kind of a pain in the ass. Gotta make sure everything's protected. That guy has to come out. I find it sometimes hard to do my job when I get 15 text messages that all need answered at the same time. Or other jobs that we're doing. Did a little bit of damage. Fireplace fully stripped. All of the baseboard on the main floor is out of here. Um, tile surround in the shower, gone. Carpet in the office, gone. Baseboard in the office, also gone. Tried to start tile, but fortunately, this tile was actually installed pretty, uh, pretty good. So leaving that, gonna get a hammer drill with a paddle bit tomorrow to take that out mechanically so I don't have to put in as much effort. All the baseboard has to come out in the foyer. Stair carpet is stripped and completely out of here. A Little bit of the underlay to go and the side. Got uh, most of the carpet in this room out of here. Most of the underlay on all the Pack strips still have to come up and all of the staples, but just gotta move this baseboard out of here. 
all the rest of the baseboard in the room is completely stripped. Stripped baseboard and closet in the walk-in. All the baseboards gone in here. In the bathroom, tub's gotta go, shower has to go, everything's gotta be disconnected. Vanity has to go, toilet stays, but unfortunately has to come up because of tile. Tile goes, um, wall arrangement changes. And Believe it or not, there is actually a proper way to do demolition and it doesn't involve destroying everything. So keep as much as you can. It'll uh, save you in the long run. It's, uh, it's funny, I'm talking to my plumber right now who plums all our new houses. I asked him how much he trusts shark bites because I don't think there's going to be shutoffs behind that wall when I open it. So I'm probably going to have to shut off the water and put some shark bites on it. Uh, I asked him how much he trusted them and he said they're actually pretty good when installed right. Followed by just expensive though. Probably not any more expensive than bringing him out here to do it for me. Cause uh, I guarantee like 10 shark bites, probably a lot cheaper than a, a service plumber call. And we're gonna see if we can put that wall fan into the ceiling, not the wall. I'm really sure why it's in the wall in the first place, but. Uh, gonna start taking out some tile here. Best way to take out tile, take out the drywall behind it. Don't try and break individual tiles unless you're doing the floor. If there's drywall behind it, take it off. Same with the backsplash. When you're taking out backsplash for kitchen, just cut around the drywall. Take the whole piece of drywall out and it'll make your life a lot easier and a lot less messy. See? Tile and drywall still attached, so no broken mud anywhere. Black mold, obviously, gotta make sure that's water protected because this is a bathroom and it's wet. I guess that's uh, one good thing about what they did here, spray foam.
Nice to see. A little bit of a extra. That is not at all what I wanted to see. What is all of that plumbing for? Where does it go? It's not a jet tub. It's just a standard bathtub. Where does all that plumbing go? Huh? Let's uh, see how much of a pain it is to get this out of here. Carpets gone, baseboards off, two doors that are closed are untouched rooms, a little bit of underlaid appeal still. I'm going to uh, work a little late tonight, it's already 5 p.m., started at 6.30 a.m., but I want to keep it on schedule, so. And this guy's good, all the tax strips still has to come up. Just given three days for demo. I think I can probably do it in two, which is going to push me ahead and give me a little bit of flex time to go check on other projects. All the carpet has to go into the dump trailer still, which is getting pretty full by now, but we're going to get that dump tomorrow. For now, I'm just going to uh, kind of take care of the rest of the carpet in the house, I think. Maybe not that, because I don't want to have to move all that stuff. but. Take care of the rest of the carpet in the rooms. Get it out of here, it's coming up pretty easy and it's not that dirty. This house is like 2008, so it's not that not that old of a house. They just want a uh, big face left. So that's what we're here for. Striking the trade while you're doing carpet, roll it up. If you have little small pieces, you can roll them up into it. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen a person roll up or take too much that they can't handle and fight with it the whole way. Make it easy for yourself. It'll go quicker in the long run. Including the underlay. Let's do a little update. Tack strips are almost up. Carpet is fully out of the house. Well, it's still in the house, but off the floor. Most of the tack strips are up. Got this room fully cleaned out. No staples, no baseboard. Got the closet cleaned out, staples, baseboard. Stairs, all the risers, treads, landings are done, but the side stringers are gonna have to wait till tomorrow because my grip is uh, non-existent anymore. Two rooms left to do. We got this room, and we got the other bedroom left to do. Tack strips, staples, and uh, leftover underlay. Gonna show you guys the easiest way to take all this stuff up, and it's not easy at all. It actually requires a lot of effort. This thing will be your best friend doing this.
All right, guys. I'm dead beat tired. My hands are shaking. Oh, camera's probably shaking. Sweating my face off. But carpet's out. Tack strips are out. All the underlay's gone. We just gotta sweep up. Call it a day. I'm beat. Hope you guys uh, appreciate the video. If you, uh, if you do like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. It'll help out. This is a uh, Scandinavian modern vibe in this house. So excited to show you what that'll look like in the future. Have a good night. Yeah, but you get the corners. It's not that hard to keep the construction site clean, even 